that you can make a pig that flies in today's new series of Bits of This, Bits of That. Put them all together and what have you got? Bits and pieces, bits and bobs. Put them all together, what a lovely job. With strings and things and the rolls of glue. You can do whatever you want to do. Bits of this, bits of that. Bits and bits and bits and bits and pieces. That crazy making program where we show you how to make crazy stuff out of a load of old rubbish, like these plastic bags and cardboard boxes. And we'll not only be making our own bitsers, we'll be showing some of your bitsers as well. Now, if you fancy making your own bitser bird, just do a quick bit of molting. I'll show you how to make the body. You need a cardboard box. The longer the box, the longer your tail. Oh, hello. Cut uh, two triangles out either side there, like that. Thank you very much. Good job. Go away. Do the same on the other side. Slit that down there so the whole thing folds out into a nice tail shape. Cut two holes in the body there and on the other side for your body. And then don't forget a hole for your neck. Now, your head is a cereal box with an extra bit stuck on the top and the bird's head drawn on the front and back. You need to cut out these bits here so you end up with a shape like this. And this way you can bend the top and bottom flap around to make a nice three-dimensional shape. And when you've taped that up, you'll have your completed head. No neck, though. For this, I'm going to use a cardboard tube. You need to make a hole in the top of the tube on the bottom, being very careful, you may need somebody to help you. And then you can wire that to the head with a bit of garden wire. Wings. Get the side of a cardboard box, keep the top flap and the bottom flap, cut it diagonally across like that, watch what you're cutting on and watch your fingers. You end up with two flobbly wings. And all you've got to do is tape them to your beautifully taped box. Is the bird head complete with a nice ball eyeball. Here you go, Simon. Oh, thank God. Now the feathers. Now, I've layered green and black plastic bags together, and the shaggier you cut these feathers out, whoops, the more like feathers they're going to look. Keep on going round all down that row. Layer them one on top of the other, green and black. Whoa. And uh, then stick them onto the wing. Keep layering them all over the body. That takes quite a long time. And you'll notice here that Simon has taped some string through this wing, through the head, ooh, through the other wing, so that when you get in your bird, it can fly. <laughs> it was through watching birds that humans got the idea of flying themselves. And they first managed this in balloons, which looked at all like birds. But later on, all sorts of weird and wonderful machines were invented. Of course, you needed your flying goggles. Yeah, marvellous. Uh, anytime. <laughs> and later still, these machines had engines. Mm -hmm. Flying jacket? Can I try that on? Sorry, it's got to go back to its hangar. Mm -hmm. ah, never mind, chocks away, chaps, and we'll just catch the last flight to Finnegy Primary School in Belfast. Mm -hmm. yeah. Finnegy Flying Show. Most interesting flight prize, trip to the moon. Testing, testing. That's the best I can do. This is my bee that I made. The body of it was made with a tonic water bottle and the wings were made out of um, a cardboard box. Drop. 
I will test out my four back frisbee. Testing, testing. <laughs> yes. Well, we're heating up this hot air balloon for the race, so hopefully it'll fly. Now, Rachel. <laughs> Welcome to Philly Air Show. In the background, we have some beautiful kites, frisbees, and rockets. And now for the rules. Everyone must stand behind the line and wait for the signal to go. The kites must fly as high as the classroom. The kites, not just children, must cross the finish line first. Gliders, darts, and frisbees must stay up a long time. Parachutes and hot air balloons must glide down slowly. On your marks, get set, go! And they're off. Look at that, the kites are winning. And the frisbees are falling back. And I think the rockets have done a bit better. And the kites are winning. Look at the kites. Look at those hot air balloons. Look at that. Oh dear! And that's the end of the race now. Yes, I won! And now that's all from Finicky Air Show. Come on, busy. Come and leap the loop. Yeah. Oh, time for another loopy competition. It's back with the challenge. Yeah. Oh yes, ten boxes of assorted junk and we've got three minutes to make something that flies. So, three numbers, please. Nine. Nine. Box number nine. Here we go. Oh, six. Balls. Six. Lots of balls. Here they come. Plastic balls. I want number one. 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 Plastics. Plastics. Something that flies in three minutes. Runway clear for takeoff. Start the clock. <laughs> Yes, 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 madam. Yes, 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 Wing type. A few more balls while I'm at it. Right. How are you doing over there? Uh, not very well. I'm just, you know, it's the usual thing, you know. <laughs> Flapping oh, around. It's, it's so good that. to be back. Oh, look, there's one in. It's the other way. So I'm going to stick, stick, stick. stick. Gleam stick. This here. How have we had? I don't know. Not a minute, yeah? Oh gosh, it's all gone madly wrong. Right? What is this? What is this? Okay, so that's a lot better. Watch out. Blue gun falling on the floor. Stick that. There's two wings up here. There's something. Blue gun here. How are you getting on? Um, I'm just, you know, getting on. I need to just stick these two. I think I need some sort of support. They're too floppy. They're too floppy. It's too floppy. Put those up. Put them in these. Look. Okay, thank you. Well, yeah, right. Um... Right. <laughs> okay. Oh. Right, sellotape. Okay. Oh. 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 Well, I'm out. I didn't really mean to do that. Um, what else okay. Uh, uh, gosh, I can't help it. Um, sorry. Don't swear at me. Oh, just okay, right. Uh, uh, I hate these machines, they're so good. Oh. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Let's see. Stick to the table, right, okay. I think oh, this has got to stick to the body. What are you making the body out of? Oh, oh two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Two minutes, yeah, okay. I'm, um, the eyes aren't sticking. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm, the eyes aren't sticking, right? Who's uh, yours? What else, what else? Okay, and um, we're keep going. Oh, the the whole, no, it's all. Who knows what's happening now? Oh, give me some wire. Uh, another stick, another stick, I need another stick. Where are you going? Give me some wire. Stick the wings on, we've got to stick the wings on. Yes, yes. Well, I don't know if that was anything. That might have just been a, something to make us nervous. Okay. Where's the body? Okay. What's that? Is that two minutes? Yes. No, I don't know what that was. Okay, quick. Hang in a sec. Hang in a sec. Stick the wings in. I'll set it. I'll set it. Okay, okay. Okay, there it was. I've set it just so you know I can't get these in. Oh, gosh. Oh, 
Dragonfly? Dragonflawed. A new bit of Bitzer. The back room. Somewhere quiet to escape to. Come on, it's good in here. I've got a sink to do all our washing up in. Workbench to work on. Nice view from the window. Hmm, not so nice. Let's see if we can do something about that. <sighs> That's better. This is new. Simon? Simon, did you put this in here? I wonder what it does. Will this bottle fly? No. But I'll show you how to make a plain plastic bottle to a plastic bottle plain. First of all, forget the bottle. Get a cereal packet. Cut that diagonally opposite sides there and there. So you end up with pieces looking like that. Cut off these extra pieces here and here. So you get this. Now, get some contact glue and a biro. Put that in there. Put the glue along that edge there and there. And push that down hard against the other surface. So you get a nice aerodynamic curve, OK? Wait for that to dry. Take the biro out. And cut off this extra piece here from this point to about two thirds of the side there. And to keep that is you'll need it later, OK? So you've got one wing there. You've got the other wing from the other side. Now make sure that they're a mirror image of each other. This is where you need your bottle. OK? Line up your wing along the seam that you've got here. The point there and the back there and a little curve in it. Draw around there and cut that out very carefully. You might be something to help you do that. Slot the wings in. There. And there. When they're evened up in the right place, glue them together. OK? Now, the fin. Remember that piece that I showed you not to throw away? Got two of these. Cut off this piece here so you've got a nice sharp triangle. Score that so you can bend it easily. Do that with the other one so you can glue them both together like that to make a fin. Then get a piece stick and glue it along the bottom. So you end up with that, OK? Put some elastic bands around your bottle there and there. Slot that in. And there is your plane. Now, I've painted this one up with enamel paint. It's nice and shiny. And also, that takes better to the plastic bottle. So, I'll show you how it flies. Caitlin, it's launch time. Oh, brilliant, I'm starving. No, no, not launch. Lunch. Simon, Seven. do you know anything about Two. that machine? Thirteen. <laughs> Time flies. Okay, then, what on earth are you wearing? Oh, it's a jumbo jet. <laughs> What's that? It's a biplane. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>